BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. Stoke City's Jack Butland says there's a healthy battle between the goalkeepers to be England's first choice at the World Cup finals. Butland played in Tuesday night's draw with Italy, while Everton's Jordan Pickford has kept two clean sheets at international level. We all get on extremely well. We all push each other and drive each other. I think that shows in, in performances as well, is that you know we train extremely well all week. We push each other, and I think that gets the best out of everyone. So it's really enjoyable to be a part of, and obviously the competition only makes that better. We'll take 23 to the World Cup. 11 will start the first game. So there's 12 that, that don't. So there's a, a larger amount of players that aren't going to be involved. But we're all about the squad. We're all about the culture, and we're all about making sure that whatever happens, if someone's out the team, the next person that steps in, you step in at the same level. The Leicester City defender Johan Benaluan has told the BBC that he's hoping his Tunisian side can do something special against England at the World Cup. The two countries are in the same group at the tournament and he's looking forward to facing his Leicester teammate Jamie Vardy. We talked about this uh, two weeks ago. I think uh, when I come back uh, tomorrow in Leicester we talk again. So, yeah, he's a little bit uh, jockey uh, <laughs> with me and uh, with, uh, with us. Well, now that the international break is over, Stoke City manager Paul Lambert wants his players to switch back their focus to survival in the Premier League. Stoke are 19th in the table, three points from safety, ahead of facing Arsenal at the weekend. So, how will Lambert approach the game? Same as I do every other game, is going to try and win it. I know it's a really tough game. They play really good football. But every team's got a weakness, I said. But we, we, we've got a duty to try and entertain as well. We're our fans. I don't want to go there and sit and sit and wait and just defend our half. It's not the way I want to play. We have to try and win. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football.